back to today's video. I'm so excited to be filming for you again. I have not actually filmed in a while. I have been very, very busy with schoolwork. And I did actually film two videos, but my microphone was not working. And those videos were supposed to be posted last week. So I'm sorry that these are getting a little bit later than I intended. But after I filmed them, I did not have time to refilm them until now. My school actually did just get off for the week. So I do have a lot more time to be filming for you, and hopefully I'm going to be posting a lot of videos this week. I know that I am going to try to. I really enjoy making videos for you guys, so that's the plan. <laughs> thank you guys again. I know that I say this every video, but I, I just can't thank you enough for your support. I think we're at 400-something subscribers now, and that is, like, insane. Like, thank you so much. Like, 400 people enjoy this and, like, want to see more. Like, what? Like, what? <laughs> so anyways, I know that some of you have been waiting patiently for this video, so let's go get into it. If you have not seen my last video, I went ahead and tried five amazing horses to bring in. I'm looking for a potential jumper. Unfortunately, even though they were all great options, I don't have it in the budget to get five of them. If you haven't seen that video, it will probably help with the context of the horses that you're going to see. So I will leave a link to that video in the description, and you should go check it out to see which horses I got the options to choose from, and see if you agree with my decision. <laughs> okay, sorry to like, cause suspense. Um, I will show you the horses, they are in front of me right now. In my last video, I did kind of accidentally spoil that we got two of them. I mean, I just couldn't decide between the two, they were just really, really both amazing, like, well, you'll see. Okay, so the first horse I got is not a big surprise. A lot of you guessed that I would get this one and suggest it to me, this one. And he is Riptide. I am so happy that I was able to bring him in. Hi, buddy. He's a very sweet boy, and he's absolutely gorgeous. Um, He really likes his wall, clearly. Um, Look at his eyes. His eyes are so pretty. So Riptide, I got to be my new jumping horse. I'm going to start jumping him over fences soon. He is pretty solid on the flat, so after I do a little bit of brushing up on the flat, because he was actually out of work for a few months, we're just gonna, you know, clean it up a little bit, but he's actually pretty solid and ready to go onto some fences, which I'm very, very excited to start him over, because I think that he has a lot of great potential. So as of right now, Riptide is going to be my personal jumping horse, and I'm very excited to bring you guys along for this little journey with us. I have not actually ridden him yet, but that's hopefully going to be a video coming out very soon, which will be my first time riding him at home. So the next horse that I got is to the stall right to the right of us, and I just could not let this horse go, like, I I genuinely, she was just such a great option, I could not turn down this option. The next horse that I got is Juniper, I am so happy that I was able to bring her in, she um, also really enjoys her wall. <laughs> she is again absolutely gorgeous, she's like Riptide, they're both really great horses, and I'm so happy I got the opportunity to bring in. Juniper, I love her personality, she just has a really nice demeanor, and in the future, I'm going to hope to put some lesson kids on her- oh. Well, that's rather rude, you know I'm trying to film a video. Anyways, do you know how there's just like- Okay, not to be like, stay or- typical or whatever i feel like there's like two main groups of mares there's just like the sweet angelic ones that like don't really know how to be bad and then there's just kind of like the psycho ones uh <laughs> i think that juniper is one of them, just like the sweet angel one she has such a great personality she is actually very very green broke so i just have to do a little bit more work with her on the flat before i start jumping her just to get her a little bit more solid and I will have to obviously start her also over fences before I put some kids on her. I don't really have any students that are ready to take on such a green horse as of right now. But I'm definitely looking to put some kids on her in the future as she is very, very sweet. And I think that she would do great in a lesson program. Hi! Yeah, as you can see, she's very sweet. I've actually ridden her once since she got here. So I will put in some clips of that at the end of the video just to show you how she's doing. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to you here. I will put the clips of Juniper after I sign off. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do really appreciate your support, it makes my day. I love making videos for you guys, so when you enjoy them, that just makes me super happy. If you want to stick around and see Juniper and Riptide's journey with me, feel free to subscribe or hit that like button, it does help me out, and then you will see some more content of them in the next videos. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. And here are some clips of my first time on Juniper since she was home. <laughs> Thank you.